June 7, 1940. After a hard-fought victory during the Norwegian campaign, I felt it was necessary after the numerous close encounters that my crew and I experienced to send the men on a much-needed vacation. While the men were heading off for their well-earned leave, I couldn't help but notice the effects that this war has had on them. They look as though they've aged 10 years since the war has started, which just goes to show you how stressful the life of a U-boat crewman can be. The Battle of France has begun, and based on intel we've been informed that they won't be able to put up a lasting fight. Upon returning from our leave, our orders were handed to us. The task was simple. Head off to the western coast of England and sink any and all allied shipping that you come across. Command believes that the British will try desperately to get ammunition and supplies to France in order to halt or slow the German advance. Just two days ago, the U-147 was caught off guard while patrolling the very sector we are heading to. They were swarmed by multiple destroyers and unable to escape the constant bombardment of depth charges, which ultimately led to the entire crew being lost. This is a grim reminder that the British are becoming more clever in their ways of detecting us and will stop at nothing to halt the wolf packs from reaching their desired targets. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Chris Jester and welcome back to another episode of U-Boat. And it has been a minute since we got an episode of this out, so I figured I need to uh, get started on this again before we return back to uh, War on the Sea. So, long leave was given to the entire crew. They went away, I believe it was for 21 days. Had an incredible experience, I'm sure, while I remained back at HQ dealing with what is to come. Clearly, they weren't able to... Uh, repair our U-boat too significantly, so we still bear the scars of the last campaign that we were just on, which of course was the Norwegian campaign. Few things have changed since uh, going on leave, but the Battle of France has officially begun, and the German army is pushing west into France. So, so far, it appears as though that's going well. Intel believes that they won't be able to put up much of a fight, but we are here to end any chances of them doing so by eliminating all shipping that comes from the United Kingdom. Now it's assumed most of them are gonna be coming south because this is the quickest mode of transportation to get to the French front. However, numerous wolf packs are already gonna be patrolling the Celtic Sea in the opening here to the southwest. So we have been tasked with making sure that anything that wants to come north out of England from Liverpool that we, we catch off guard. I'm looking forward to this. Overall, I think this is going to be a good area. However, it is going to be incredibly dangerous as the patrols around these areas are uh, pretty high. All right, well, now that we're in here, it's pretty straightforward. Let's set up a patrol. We need to travel 2,500 kilometers inside here and sink a total of 10,000 tons of shipping, which I highly doubt we're going to have any problems with. This crew is very well seasoned. So we will go under shortly. I think what we'll do is we'll get some of this patrol out of the way. And once we reach the northern point of Ireland here, we'll go under, get the hydrophone up, and see if there is anything nearby. It's currently 2050 hours on June 7th, so I'm sure it's getting pretty dark. Eh, not too bad. We'll still be able to see. Oh, what a beautiful view that is. But our patrol continues. We will return shortly if we come across anything. And sure enough, an important message has been received. Ooh, find the SS Alcamo ship. A very valuable radar prototype is being transported on the SS Alcamos cargo ship headed to Port of Halifax, where it will be fitted onto the dedicated warship for testing. Sinking this ship will noticeably slow enemy progress in developing this technology. We estimate that it's currently passing through the square AM567 with a course of 250 degrees. The ship is moving in a convoy, traveling at a speed of seven knots. <laughs> M567, you say, huh? And there it is. But, uh, it's coming out to sea. It's going to be a small group. It's saying 6 to 13, and it is 1150 hours. We're going to have daylight on our side, and we can try and sneak up on this. Wake up, gentlemen. Start getting to your areas that you need to. Let's get our navigation going here. We're going to go ahead and head forward here. And when we return, I am sure of it, we're going to be just in line to be uh, striking this convoy. And here they are coming just over the horizon right now. And it is a very large convoy. I'm surprised they called this a small group. This is very much a large group. 
the problem we're going to have is trying to locate the SS Alchemos. So, I think what we'll do is we'll stay in the middle of the pack here. Let them come over the horizon, and then we will try and pick out the SS Alchemos as it gets closer. So, stand by, ladies and gentlemen. All right, they are nearing closer, and my goodness, I would love to be able to take out this destroyer. I know technically in the game there's no value to it, but damn it, there's value to me to get that out of the way. And is that the SS Alchemos right there? Yes, it is. You can barely see it right there. Hello. Bloody beautiful. Little Empire Tower action going on here. We know it's going seven knots, and now let's just get a course of this uh, highly valued ship. We have a rough course here of looking like 73 degrees. Set that, and we'll get a distance. As soon as it's actually in front of us, we're looking at a distance of 1.8 kilometers. Beautiful. All right, well, let's go ahead and load two one. We're only going to need one torpedo for this target. Definitely. Not that big a target. One torpedo should be more than enough. I think what we'll do is we also might just take this guy out. Go ahead and do that. We're going to... We'll identify him, too. I think it's going to help us in the end. Looks like we're looking at a tribal class here. We know it's also going seven knots. Let's go ahead and plot that in. More than likely, it's going to be the same course, too, of 73. We'll do 74 and a distance for this gentleman. He's much closer, isn't he? We're looking at about one kilometer, 920 meters. But we don't want to fire it. We want to wait until he's right about here. So it'll be, it'll still be about 900 meters. We'll put him out at 900 meters, because when it's time to fire on him, that's what he'll be at. Now we just lie and wait. We're, of course, going to have to shoot at the SS Alchemos first. But we'll get an updated range on him, which he'll be right about here. When we need to fire, it's going to be two kilometers. Okay, we are in position. SS Alchemos is right where we need it. Let's go ahead and adjust the course if we need to. 73, set. Two kilometers. Fire. Torpedoes away. Unlock. Go and find our friend over here. 900 meters. Updated course as well. 74. Load tubes too, please. Fire. Beautiful. If these strike true, we're going to be looking pretty. Treffer. There we go. Broke its back. Unlock. How's the Alchemist looking? Our main target. 40 seconds, there's no way. Oh no, because it actually, because we sunk the Forester, the Alchemos has slowed down and started evasive maneuvers. Go ahead and get a new velocity really quick while we wait. We have time to get a third one off before the uh, other destroyers come here. Come on, come on. Yes, there we go. Good solid hit right there. Good solid hit. Serious damage. All right, let's go ahead and head towards it. Forward two, please. Let's drop down to 40 meters, and we'll get a decoy out here. Decoy is away, and lifeboats look as though they are leaving. And there we go, mission completed. Beautiful. And there goes the Alchemos sinking to the bottom. Now that they're going after that decoy, though, let's go ahead and stop altogether. Maybe they won't get too close to these lifeboats and go around them. And we are just going to lay in silence. 
Well, as it looks right now, the destroyers have uh, buggered off. Definitely went after the decoy, dropped a few of the depth charges, but I think they believe we're actually gone, which is perfect. We'll go ahead and increase time compression here. The Alchemos, which is the most important one, is gone, and we have one destroyer under our belt, which feels absolutely incredible. This convoy is completely moving on. I don't think I'll pursue it, only because we just got here. But that is definitely a victory under our belt. Being able to achieve that right off the bat. Let's go ahead. Make sure these guys are long gone before we actually surface the boat here. An alarm has been canceled. Let's go ahead and surface the boat. Give these guys some fresh air. Turn on the pumps as I'm sure they were going to need it. Normal lighting, please. There we go. Get these queued messages off to BDU. Perfect, and there are three interactions nearby, right next to them. Of course, we are after only the most important of crew, which is the captain. And there they are. Perfect. Confirm. Bring them on board. That's extra money in the pocket for us. Take that any day. Good little first encounter there. Go ahead and start the engines up again and start our patrol. So far, though, not too bad. Let's see if we can find anything else, though, while we're here. A couple of our officers here have some new skills that they can actually spend, which is beautiful. Torpedo mechanic. The officer loads torpedoes 33% faster, which is pretty awesome. Overall, though, he's an engineer. Uh, the engineer recovers some scrap from completed major repairs, which might be nice. Engine specialist, he... Perfectly knows how to handle the diesel engines on the U-boat, and there will be no visible smoke coming from the engine when this officer works the station, lowering, lowering excuse me, enemy chances of spotting your boat. Yes, that sounds great to me, actually. And one more for skills, Mr. Brookmere. Ah, so now they'll both be ready to rock and roll. Repairs come 25% less time. Yes, I like that as well. Eliminate the time and allow us to get repaired quicker, which increases our survivability. We're going to go ahead and go through the night here, and then we will uh, come back once we're in this little opening over here, and we're going to start searching for our next target. Here we go. We have a small group heading our way. Four to nine, it says. This is going to be one of two things. We're going to look out, and this is going to be a small group that we're going to be able to actually pick on of cargo ships and or this is going to be a little uh, patrol unit patrolling the coast Let's go ahead and get in position here and find out what just what we're dealing with and it was exactly as i feared it's just a small patrol unit guarding the coast i gotta say they are incredibly annoying we're not going to waste our time with this it's not worth the torpedoes. Let's go ahead and break off here. Drop down to 30 meters, please. Get out of sight completely, and we will wait for the next target to come. All right, here we go. We are in it to win it. We weren't getting much luck up in the AM5664 area. However, we did complete the goal of traveling the 2,500 kilometers. So now we have pushed right into the heart of it where we should be able to catch a lot of the uh, cargo ships coming out of the port of Liverpool. And sure enough, we have two tiny groups here, sized one. Let's hope these are actual cargo ships, and we're going to try and get in position and uh, dish out some damage. If we can knock out this one first and then wait for these two, that's actually going to complete our tonnage, which we need. Go ahead and increase speed and try and get there. And as luck would have it, it is a foggy day. Which is just murder for us. Let's go ahead and cut off at an angle here and see if we can't try and catch up and get a better look. But if we're within 500 meters right now, I mean, come on. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. Go ahead and order the boat to surface, please. And go ahead and man the deck gun. Give you all the extra help you need, Mr. Hoffman. And get ready for this. And here we go, AP loaded. Let's go ahead and start, shall we? Really quick. Let's make sure we lower our speed down to one. 
So we're gonna get too far ahead here and start unleashing hell. Make sure this thing doesn't turn into us. But being this close, we should be able to uh, knock out the St. George. Yes, sir, you're under fire. Please keep swabbing the deck. That's the most important thing right now. Go ahead and walk back to your quarters. Nothing's happening here. These two looking the wrong way. Looking off to the right of the ship when I'm off to the left. You guys are doing great. Great bloody work. And there we go. We've got heavy listing happening, and the ship is completely falling apart. Let's go ahead and get a couple AP rounds off to the side over here. I feel like this is going to go down in the next uh, minute or so here. And there we go. Official. That is going under. Now the more important uh, question is... Where's the remainder of them? When last we checked, they were coming directly at us. And here we go, our next target is in sight. I knew they were just ahead of us, not too bad. Let's go ahead and surface the boat once more. Just need to use the hydrophone for a little bit just to uh, make sure we're in the right path. Get Mr. Hoffman and his lads on the uh, deck gun as soon as this is up and we have our second and third target picked out. And there we go, unleash hell. AP, AP, AP. Let's go. Alarm is sounded. They definitely know we're here now. What's interesting is that you can see this very well through the scope of the deck gun. However, after this round, if I take the scope off, I can't see anything. So, I wonder if there's a little bit of technology that we might very well just have here that gives us that upper hand that maybe all you boats had. These AP rounds are disgusting on this thing. Completely obliterated the side. You can also see that the ship is starting to fall apart here. Let's go ahead and get off a few in the front, as well as the rear. We've completely peppered the side here. Let's go ahead and turn into this and see if we can't uh, finish it off. Go ahead and get the deck gun going. There it is, right there. Surprisingly, as much as we've peppered it, it's still up and running. Come on, you. You gotta go down eventually. Go ahead and switch over to HE and get a few HE rounds here. Kinda cool to be in the fog, though, because, I mean, you can be right in the heart of it all. And they won't find you. Works out really, really well. There we go, that's what we needed. HP is still full on this thing. There we go, it's starting to tick down finally. We might finally have the upper hand here. And it's looking pretty rough as is. I don't think it's gonna make it. I think we actually have this in the bag, which is perfect. There he is again. Looking the completely wrong way. We've got him cornered now, gentlemen. They don't even know where we are in this thick fog. Beautiful, and there it goes. Sinking. Oh my goodness, that feels phenomenal. I love it. Well, I don't know that there's anything else really much to do. We are pretty much set. We'll leave those guys behind. I mean, we're going too fast. I don't care to stop right now. We're on a pretty good roll. This is actually really good. I mean, we've only just gotten to the heart of this, and we still have plenty of torpedoes left to rock and roll. I think what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is that's going to end the episode right here. I think the plan of action is we are going to patrol the area around this uh, sector still. I think it's really going to help if I'm up here knocking out more cargo ships as they come so that whatever I can't hit as they continue southbound, the wolf packs down here can deal with them. So that's the plan, but I think that's going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all have enjoyed it as much as I have. It's really good to be back at U-Boat. Don't worry, War on the Sea videos are coming out. I just wanted to get a U-Boat video out for you guys as uh, I've missed it. I'm sure you've missed it. Lots coming out in the next uh, couple months. It's pretty exciting. Got some Diablo 4 coming out. We got some roller coaster games coming out. We got it's quite a lot of games coming out for the summer and end of the year, so I'm pretty excited. But in the meantime, if you have enjoyed this video, please comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Likewise, if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It helps me out, helps the channel out, and helps get this video out to many more so they can see it. 
And if you are new to the channel and you liked what you saw on this episode and want to see more on this series and other series like it, please consider subscribing. Try and get a video out to you guys once every week, but try and up that to two to three times a week. Anyways, I'm going to continue to patrol in this very thick and eerie fog in search of more targets to hunt down. Until the next video, though, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?